So guys, I found this button. It says you may want to quit without saving after using this button. Let's see what happens. And say do not press. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> no! No! Oh god! <laughs> okay, so we will test this also. What? Hey guys, and welcome to Ranch. Today we are going to maintain and rent out this nice race car. First of all, we are going to change some colors, I think, because I don't like this color combination. Actually, I like the green one, but not with the red. So we are starting with picking. Uh, let's let's go for um, uh, orange. Oh yeah, orange looks good. I think we will go for we will go for a black hood. Yeah. Okay. Let's pick up the tablet and see what we need to do. Car details. Um. So, actually, everything is kind of in the green zone. So we will just rent this car. Remove from lift, and we will rent it out. Okay. So we will wait ten seconds, and we will get it back. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to put it back on the lift. You see now the tires are starting to go into orange. So we will change the tires and after we change the tires we will uh, we will paint them in a different color. Let's find our tool and we will use this wrench, we will put it to loosen and we will take it off and I will actually speed up this part. That was all of the wheels off the car guys and as you see I put them nicely on the floor so we will order new ones we will take our scanner tool we will scan it we will go to our the purchase replacement two three four and here they are I actually like this color of the wheels. Let's see how they will look on the car. I actually like that color to that car. What do you guys think? I will put on all those tires. Here we are back at the first tire. So Let's scan to figure out how much torque we are going to torque it. Install info and torque 208 Newton. Let's pick it up. And of course we are put, I will actually put, I will use that light. Oh sh no. We'll use the large one. We'll bring the torque down. 108. So I'm going to put it on like this. Then we are going to put them in. And of course, we are putting it in a star pattern or a cross pattern if you want.
then we are tightening also in a star or cross so ah and then the last one okay i'm going to speed the footage up for the next um, uh, wheels So that was all the tires changed guys and I really have to say that color combination I really like it. I would maybe like to <laughs> paint the frame but I think I need to be a higher level to paint the frame so we will we will get to that later. Let's see as of now we are in level 1 so we are only able to fix this stuff and now we changed all the tires so we will remove from lift and we will rent this car and it says that the following loose parts were found in the garage and will be discarded when this car is raised so it means those tires which i had on my floor they are now gone performance report a rent Latest reported symptoms, nothing, and we gained 40 XP, next level in 60 XP. So, now you see we need to do an oil change. And we don't really need to do an oil filter change, but I'm going to change the oil filter. I mean, some of these are past the hours, but I, I'm not going to change all of it. So we will change the engine oil this time and then we will rent it again and then we will go on for the transmission oil lift up and here so the engine drain should be here so let's pick up our bucket and then let's pick up our wrench or ratchet oh loosen and then oh we will put this here okay the oil is drained we are going to put that back in we will find our wrench and we will find our scanner. We will scan this. D30. Oh, I loosened it first. There we are. We will move away a little bit to the front of the car and we will take the car down. So now it's down here guys. We will take off this. We will Take off the oil filter. We will scan the oil filter. We will bring up our tablet. We will purchase replacement. And then we are going to put it here. Then we will put this here. 
and then it's going to be four quarts and this engine oil bucket should be five quarts i think so we will and then we are we have a funnel here which we can use but let's be gangsters and just pour it like this okay let's check it 47 and then we will actually be less gangsters and just use the funnel okay and let it run down a little bit and let's check okay so we are we are going to need more anyway so okay let's check it now we are at a hundred and a little bit of spillage there guys but hey so 106 percent ah really we are going to hope that 106 percent will not be the biggest disaster and then we are bringing up our tablet and we are going to press home car details remove from lift and rent this car following symptoms have been reported the engine oil is overfilled yeah so six percent we got 30 xp the engine is overfilled i already know so we are going to put it back on the lift and since it's complaining about the oil overfill issue we will try to take out just a little bit of that oil okay let's hope this is going to be enough and not too much let's bring the car down and we will check it this will be enough eight nine really okay so it seems like we need to A hundred and one, really? Okay, this time I'm not going to care. Go, go, and no, okay, okay. Let's put on the hood. <clears throat> so I think we are going to change the transmission oil and we are going to change the brake fluid so then we actually need to then we actually need to take this off again we are going to take go here i'm actually not quite sure how to i'm very well aware of how to do this in real life and then we are going to go here and pick up this brake fluid recovery. I'm not sure if, and then we are going to just stand inside the car here and we are going to put it here and we are going to start from the brake caliper which is furthest away from the master cylinder. And then we are going to use this can I get this tool we will close 
pump up some more and we will do it until you see, see now the the fluid which is coming is nice and clear but it's still coming some bubbles still some small bubbles here and that seems like it's good so we will move on to the one on the other side which is the second furthest away we will also of course bring our um recovery bottle we will put it here yep yeah. and then we will pump the pressure which is already pumped and then we are going to do the same here to get until it nice and light without bubbles okay that's good and then you get you get the how it's done so i'm going to speed it up for the next two wheels <music> And that's it for the brake fluid change, guys. We will just put it wherever. We will put this back on. Okay, and we will move out of the engine bay. And then we are going to put this back on here. And then we are going to lift the car because now we are going to change the transmission fluid. Transmission oil, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess oil is a fluid, so. We will empty the oil. This game is actually fairly accurate to real life. So. I really enjoy it and I think you guys which don't know much about mechanics you can actually maybe learn a thing or two let's see if we can find them let's just remove them a little bit here it seems like we have our oil fill plug here I'm not sure how it is in this car guys, but at least on my car you are supposed to fill the oil from the bottom until it runs out that filler hole on the top. So we are going to bring the oil here. Let's just see. yes, it's drained now. Okay, so actually on this car we are filling from the top. and then i actually need to scan to know how much how i'm going to do this okay so i found this fluid change guide people so we are first going to take out this like like put this under take it out and then empty it for oil which we already done so we will put it back in and it's going to be with 30 newton meters and then we will just put it in here and then it's telling us to uh, and then it's also saying that we are going to remove that one and put this in which we already done and then we are just going to pump in everything and it's when they this bottle is empty it's going to be much easier to pump and then it's like the oil which is the excess the excess oil will run out of here now so we will just take it here and this way okay so maybe then we need more so then let's put this in here and then we will 
pump in some more and now the bottle is empty let's see if so it still needs more or because it needs two quarts how much is this it's I can't read this. Oh yeah, so it's one quart, so we already put it two quarts. Then we will then we will just install this and then we will just put it. Yeah, that's it. Let's go here and oh, we need to put on this and then we need to put on this and then let's grab our tablet and go here, our details and we will remove from lifter. And we will try to rent it out and see what it says. I think we are also now leveling up. Race duration, 5 hours. You have serviced 3.8% of this car and will gain XP from a successful race. The engine runs the car chassis functional state performance report. A. No symptoms reported. This car assembly is completed. No loose parts were found in the garage. Rental result. Operable gained 40 XP. You gained a level. Next level in 400 XP. Latest report symptoms. The tires are heat cycled out and the car has become difficult to drive. Okay, guys. So with this, we are going to end the first episode. We leveled to level 2. And in the next episode, we are going to have a look at this stuff which we can repair as a level 2 mechanic that's it for this time guys i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you will watch my next episode please leave a like and subscribe for more content thank you for watching and goodbye